welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Uh, we are back here again. Uh, last episode, we basically launched our first rocket off the launch pad, and we did like two contracts. The first thing I forgot to do is I actually forgot that you guys to uh, meet some of the astronauts. So let's get to it. Okay, those are our astronauts that we can hire and all that. Okay, we have Jebediah Kerman. You can see what it, what his courage is and stupidity, and his uh, of course his experience. Then we have Bill Kerman. Bill Kerman is our engineer. Uh, let's see. Then we have Bob Kerman. He is our scientist. Uh, like if we take him up into space, he can reset our uh, some of our modules and all that. Then we have also Valentina Kerman, which is our second pilot. So let's get on to doing this. Do we have any missions? Let's see. Um, yes, we do. Uh, MK16. Hammer, escape the atmosphere, and orbit. We're not probably going to be orbiting for a while. Okay, so let's go in here real quick. Okay, I believe we bought some fuel this time. Yeah, see, so we bought some fuel. We have some new boosters. We have this one right here. It's a little bit bigger. We have the swivel engine. Um. We have a decoupler now, so that's going to help. Uh, service bay, we can put stuff in there. Aerodynamics, landing gear, some heat shields, uh, no electrical. We have some communications, which I have no idea why those are all great. I probably because I haven't put a capsule down yet. Uh, we have our science right here. We have the new thermometer and the new barometer. And then we have some new parachutes. We have the drought chutes, which slows our descent so the big parachute can open. And then these are really big parachutes right here. So first thing we need to do is we need to put down a command pod. Of course, we got to put a parachute down on it. I believe it's actually an MK-16 we need. MK-16 parachute. Uh, let's see. MK-16. Yes. So hopefully we'll be able to get that one. Okay, then we're gonna need uh, we're gonna need some science on here, of course. Uh, actually, we already did pretty much all of those, so we'll try to get some of the new science. Let's put two thermometers on it. Put two barometers on it. Okay, and then right underneath it, we are going to try to put let's see a stacked coupler put that right underneath it and we're going to move down add uh, some fuel tanks uh, trying to think of how many fuel tanks sounds good actually because I'm really just trying to I'm, I'm going to try to get out of the atmosphere in this one okay, I think that sh should be good and then we need to put the swivel engine down. And then... I think that's going to be a little too powerful right there. We'll try just these two right here. I'll try and get that thing just right. Yes, I know it's going to slow because we don't have the cones for the aerodynamics. Okay, and then we are going to... I'm going to try to get some wings on here to help out a little bit. Well, let's try four wings. Might help a little bit. Come on, I don't want it to hit those. Okay, it looks like it's fine. Okay, so let's check our staging real quick. We try to get these two, and then finally this one. And then separation. Okay, let's put it at F Fest Club. Uh, mark one. Okay, there we go. And our pilot for this one is going to be. Now, Jebediah, we're going to have Valentina Kerman on this one. Okay, let's go to the launching pad.
Okay, there she is right there. First thing first is we are going to... Oops, I didn't mean to push the time warp button. Okay, let's log that pressure display. 3.6 science. Uh, log this one. 2.4. We already did all that stuff, so we don't have to worry about that. Okay, so let's get ready to take off. Okay, there we are right there. So basically we're going to try to go this way. So pretty much try to go down the 90 degree angle right there. Okay, let's try this out. Okay, turn the SAS on. We'll try to th turn the throttle. We'll actually turn the throttle all the way up. Let's see if we get... There we go. Hopefully we can actually escape the atmosphere. The atmosphere I believe is like around 70,000 I believe. I think it's going fast up. You guys can see right there. See the wind right there going off of it. Bad thing is, is if I wish I had the regular decouplers. Okay, now we are going to turn on the swivel. Yeah, I don't I don't know if it's gonna do it. Yeah, we're not gonna probably escape the atmosphere. We are up to nineteen thousand. Yeah, I don't think so. I mean we got pretty high, but twenty seven thousand. 30, yeah, we're at 30,000. So we didn't do too bad. I mean, we can get these uh, readings right here. And hopefully they'll help us to uh, get farther next time. 10.8 right there. Okay, where is that? Oh, that temperature. And crew report, Kerbin's upper atmosphere. Can't get out out of it right now until we get uh, more um, science, more uh, upgrades. Okay, so what we're going to do now is going to pivot this thing right over. Oops! Stop! 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 Try to pivot this thing right around here and eject that. Okay, then we're going to try to Okay. I do not know why that thing is lit up right now where it says, you know, haul. Well, I guess we did test the hammer one, so I think we did it completely said it says we did both. Huh. So I'm not going to pull the chute for a while. Yeah, there goes our uh, engines and all that. Might be I'll actually, rec well, it'll probably get destroyed by the impact of the ocean. If I would probably put parachutes on that, we would probably actually save it. Looks like Valentina's having a fun ride. Yeah, FS Club Mark 1 debris. Let's see if it stays there. Uh, we're starting to slow down a little bit. See, so it says 80 to 250. So I, I'm going to try to get it just in case. 80 to 250. 260. 259. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Looks like we're about to pass it, that thing up, actually. 240. Okay, let's release that. There we go. It sh should deploy very soon. And there goes that. Let's see if it makes it. Oh, it's going down fast. Yeah, that did not make it. See, as you can see right here, we can see our shadow. Okay. Oops, yeah, don't try to push it a little bit too fast. If you go a little bit too fast, it messes with with the physics. If you're uh, inside of Kerbin, 
or any other planet. Okay, so we're at 280 now. Okay, there are shadow getting bigger. And come on. Splash down. There we go. There's the splash down. So another successful landing. So far we haven't lost anybody. And we also got some more science and some more money. I don't think we did it. Well, actually it says we did those two contracts. So there's two contracts done. Yeah, another, uh, all this science right here. Uh, recovered, recovered, recovered. Yeah, basically we didn't recover any of that other stuff. And she gained an XP. Let's see what's right here. Uh, our test, haul, and then speed records and land distance. Okay, let's go here real quick. Okay, we are going to be upgrading this. We're going to be getting the Reliance, a Thumper, and uh, the FL200 fuel tank. It's basically just a bigger fuel tank. Okay, we still have 28 left. Can you get any of this stuff? This stuff's like all 45, so. But we could get this, and this it comes with our radial decoupler, so that's going to help a lot. Okay, we still have 10.9. Okay, let's go here, see if we have any contracts we can do real quick. Uh, let's see. Decoupler land at Kerbin, swivel engine on suborbital, escape trajectory. Okay, I don't think so. I think next thing we are going to be doing is we are going to be leaving the atmosphere. Okay. Okay, let's try to leave the atmosphere now. Um, I should also probably do a let's play today of um, farming simulator. So, thinking about actually doing uh, some Oregon Springs. Okay, there's the FS Club Mark One. I think we're just going to make a few improvements to this. Basically, take that off. <laughs> That's just a few improvements right there, yeah. Okay, um, let's see here. We'll put the bigger engine on. I forgot how to do this, but there's a way to, uh, copy this. I forget what it is, though. Um, y'all pitch raw. Uh, is there any, let's see. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to look for controls right here. Uh, cursor control, delete part, open part clone is a oh, square than uh, uh okay so like this okay that makes it so much more easier uh let's see if we're breaking any of the rules yet uh height six meters oh yeah we can go way farther um engines we can do the swivel right here. Oh, we got these big old rockets. Okay, let's try to try this real quick. Hopefully, don't blow it up. I'm also gonna try to do this without basically. Uh, if Kerbal dies, he dies. I'm not gonna try to you know go to a save or anything like that. Let's see how funny this looks. Those things are bigger than, than the main ship. So this should be interesting. Okay, we're going to try to lower that a little bit. And then we are going to... What am I looking for? What am I looking for? Uh, we're looking for some aerodynamics. There we go. Put those two cones on it. Then we're going to need some wings. Uh-oh. This thing is heavy. 22 tons. Uh, let's save this real quick. It says, what is it? Engineer report. 22 tons. Okay. We're going to try to see if we have enough money to actually upgrade something. Uh, return to Space Center. I think it's actually a, the launching pad right now. Um, 
Yeah, because that's just max parts. So let's go to the launching pad 50,000 and we are going to upgrade it. Okay, so launching pad and where we get our contracts are uh, is all the way fully upgraded. Okay, we're we missing anything else. Hopefully, this thing does not fall apart because I can't uh, put any struts really on it or anything. Mm. I think that's about it. So, let's go to launch real quick. I forget who is flying. It might be Jeb or it might be Valentina. Hopefully, we can actually skip the atmosphere in this one. Okay, it is Valentina. So Valentina Kerman might be the first brave astronaut to go and escape the atmosphere. Okay, throttle all the way up. Okay, so first thing is first, it's going to light these two boosters. It's going to get as far as it can. Then it's going to separate those two. And then after that, the uh, swivel engine. The good thing about swivel engine is, uh, if you click on it right here, so you can see the gimbal right there. So it can move and everything. So even though we don't have wings, it's going to help us. Hoping, I forgot to put wings on there. I'm hoping that uh, it doesn't like do a bunch of flips and cartwheels. Um, then separate that and then that. I'm also hoping that I don't need a heat shield because I don't want to kill Valentina really. Uh, actually, let's go add that real quick. Um, where are you at? Cover vessel. Gonna take a minute. Yay, we got everybody back. Now let's go back here. We didn't even use any gas or nothing. Well, any fuel. Uh, aerodynamics. I should have put it actually on four again. Okay, let's check that out. Looks good to me. Save craft and launch. I think Jebediah is going to be our first Kerbal to actually go and uh, orbit Kerbal. This thing is so weird looking. I hope this thing does not explode on the launching pad. Okay, ready, set, here we go. So far we're doing good, 50, 60, 70, because this is our speed right here, and this is our altitude. We're trying to get past this dark blue if you guys can actually see it. Okay, it's not spinning, it's not doing nothing, so that is good, but these fuel engines have a lot of fuel in it. We are going really fast. There's Kerbal. Right now we're already up to, what? 22,000. I think that's more than we had last time. Can I even go move over really? Nope. Not really. Okay. We're about to... There we go. And... Inject them. Okay, now we're going to try to... Get a little bit of an orbit right here. Start flattening it out. Yeah, it's way up there. As you guys can see. Whoa. Yeah. Might actually be able to orbit. That's. Oh, uh, yeah, I can put no. Uh, so usually you put something right here. I can make a maneuver or whatever. That would help me. If you see this green thing right here, this is the connection to the space center. If this thing was piloted by, like, say, a probe, and if I lost connection, like, way out here or something like that, I wouldn't be able to do nothing. Okay. Let's see, we're about to leave the atmosphere in a second. Actually, I think we have lost the atmosphere. Let's see. Uh, yep, achieved the atmosphere. It was at 70. Okay, we should be able to do some science stuff. I actually should have brought the mystery goo container, but oh well. Uh, while in space near Kerbin. Uh, space near Kerbin. Uh, crew 
ports. There we go. Okay, next thing we are going to be doing is trying to get ready to get back into the atmosphere. I I don't we might have enough. I can let's see, hold on. Let's see if I can smooth this down a little bit. I gotta wait at least a little bit. Um about right now. Go right here, try to flatten this out a little bit. See if I do have enough. I don't think I have enough. Yeah, we don't have enough. Because I believe to get a, a full circular orbit around Kerbin, you need like 22,000 speed. And we are at 1,000. Yeah, so no. And the bad thing is now we're going really fast. So let's go at least. Oh, this top, this thing is very heavy. There we go. Come on. Trying to slow her down a little bit. Jeez, this thing's not wanting to move at all. Which is actually a bad thing. So I need this thing to move. Here, hold on. Let's see if we can go this way. All the way around. Oh, crap. I don't know why this thing's not wanting to move. There we go. Okay, now we are basically a dead stick. So, let's eject that. I think it's off balance because this thing's not wanting to move at all. That's a very bad thing. Because we're going to have to keep this thing like right there. In that circle right there. Okay, we're at 80,000 right now. Let's speed it up a little bit. Hopefully we make it back. Because I did not put a heat shield on. Okay, we're at regular speed now. Uh, let's check this right here. Electric charge is good. See if we had the heat shield, we'd see the albeit or whatever. Definitely cannot pull that parachute. Yeah, I even freaking didn't put no drag chutes on there either. So, so you guys are gonna be seeing some uh, like basically red flames coming up. Ooh, don't do that. <laughs> Might be going down way too fast. We're already at about 15,000, still 700. Come on, slow down. Okay, we're going, we're, we're hitting the brakes fast. Okay, just ha let the wind take it. That was actually not too bad. Good job, Valentina. And let's pull that parachute out. Let's see if there's any more science I have to I can get right over here real quick. Now that's the space one. Uh log pressure data. Oh yeah. Um flying over Kerbin's waters. There we go. Um, oh yeah, I can't do that. Whoa. That was really, <laughs> yeah. And we're about to hit it. 400. Yeah, this thing takes a minute to actually go fully down. Yeah, there's our shadow right there. You can tell, like, when we get close, it'll be right underneath it. 
Yeah, see that thing it's not even. That's why it's doing that. Something is off center. So I have no idea what it would be. That's why it was hard for me to turn. And there we go. Touchdown. Okay, let's recover the vessel. Good job, Valentina. Hopefully, she maybe got a uh, new experience point, so maybe she'll go up, and then we can start working on Jeb. Since now we know we have a, uh, a rocket to basically go out to in past the atmosphere now. 70 science. Wow. Okay, parts right here. Crew. Oh, no XP gained. Okay, let's go here real quick, and then after this, we'll end the episode. Let's see. We got advanced, we got terrier, liquid, and bigger fuel tank. Yeah, these are the struts I was telling you about earlier to hold them. Uh, launch abilities. Wings and stuff for space planes. Stuff for space planes, basically. There's the Probodyne. This is what we use to do unmanned missions and everything, like satellites and all that, too. Uh, batteries, science juniors to get more science. Experimental storage unit, radiator panels, uh, and then gain antenna. I think right now what we're going to do is the advanced rocketry. Okay, so all we need now is 20 more science, and then we got it. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Make sure if you guys like this video, you guys hit that like button. And if you have not subscribed, make sure you guys do. Thank you guys for watching, and have a good day.